Welcome to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here today at uh, KDLM Studios. I'm standing with the Miss Northwest Siri Free. Uh, welcome to Hometown Happenings. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, Siri, I wanted to talk to you uh, about your journey as Miss Northwest for 2012. What have you been up to uh, this uh, past year? In July of uh, 2011, you were crowned Miss yes. Northwest. So what's happened since then? Yeah. So I kicked off with the water carnival, got to be really involved, and the JCs were wonderful about having me represent this community, and that was a lot of fun. But then this past year, I've just been working a lot with my platform, mm -hmm. Heart Disease Awareness. I've entitled it Strengthening the Heart of America. So it has a lot to do with working with kids and reducing those risk factors, eating healthy, getting exercise, and avoiding tobacco. Okay, we're going to talk about that in just a second, but I wanted to ask you too. Now, you are a student as well right now yes. in uh, the Twin Cities. Where do you go to school? Yeah. Well, I'm actually at the University of Minnesota in the Twin Cities. I am a nursing major down there, and I intend to graduate next May and then go right back for my doctoral work in cardiovascular research. All right, so it's very fitting what, about your platform that just fits in very well yeah, with the work yeah. that you're doing. Oh, yeah, it's more than a platform for me. It's something I'm very passionate about. It, it's part of my life. Okay, excellent. And uh, so now you, throughout the year, you make appearances as Miss Northwest yes. in the community, so that's got to be quite a commute and quite a busy life for you right now. Yeah, it <laughs> is. And, I, you know, it's like having two communities, so I absolutely represent this area and I'm very involved. But then it's also representing the Twin Cities because that's where I'm going to school right now. So it's been a really fun, fun journey and fun adventure. Mm -hmm. So what ha what has been the most fun about y your uh, reign as Miss Northwest? Yeah, no, I think it's been a mixture of working with the with our elderly in the area, being at different senior dances. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I actually got some dancing lessons, and then also working with the young kids and being involved with Jump Rope for Heart. Uh, I think the kids got a real a real kick out of trying to see if the queen could whip her hair, uh, or excuse me, whip her crown off while she's trying to jump rope. There there was a few bets that were going if I was going to be able to keep it on or not. All right. And what are some of the things that you've learned as Miss Northwest uh, in your reign? Yeah. It's, it's a lot about listening. Uh, Contrary to what you might think, my role is not to come in and be the be the star and be the center of attention. It's about to bring attention to whatever organization, whatever thing I'm supporting and being there and being a part of. Okay, yeah. excellent. Uh, so let's talk a little bit now about your platform and about uh, the the thing that is most dear to your heart, yes. uh, as it as it were. Uh, you've been out talking about uh, heart health, heart disease uh, awareness, okay. and tell us a little bit about some of the work and some of the things that you share when. You you go to visit uh, people and talking about this issue? Yeah, well, it's very personal to me because my dad actually experienced a cardiac event last summer, two weeks before the Miss Northwest program. I was totally taken off guard. I was not expecting that. And that's when I became aware of what an issue it is. And as being a nursing major, we talk a lot about upstream mentality. So addressing the problem before it becomes an issue. And that is where I'm working with kids. We're talking about reducing those risk factors. We're making it fun. We're making it something that's just a part of their life. It's not something that they have to think a lot about, but something that they will enjoy. Mm -hmm. And it's great to talk about kids because kids actually go home and tell their parents, like, you know, you really should shouldn't do that. We should do this uh, this other way. Yeah, I know. I've had a couple <laughs> parents tell me, yeah, she told me I got to quit doing this or I got to start doing this or mom, let's go out and play a little bit. All right. Siri Free is my guest today on Hometown Happening. She's Miss Northwest. And we're going to take a break and be back with more seeing what she's up to, what's, what's ahead for her as Miss Northwest as we continue. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings. I'm here today with Siri Free. She is Miss Northwest uh, 2012, 2011-2012. You were crowned yes. Miss Northwest last year. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, uh, Siri. Yeah, I'm from the Lake Park area. That's my hometown. It was a wonderful community to grow up in. And being down in the cities now, it's about 100 miles per hour faster, but it's always such a breath of fresh air to come back to the community on occasional visit visits. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's a uh, small town experience, uh, of course, uh, is a great thing. I mean, you must run into a lot of different types of people uh, in in the the uh, Miss America Miss uh, in all these contests. I yeah. mean, so what have you learned about uh, about people? I guess uh, with your small town upbringing. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting. Uh, there's 22 other girls that are running for the title of Miss Minnesota, and a lot of them are from small town communities as well. I see there's a lot of pride in their community. They're really looking to represent the people and to really bring a lot of respect, a lot of honor to the community that they're serving at Miss Minnesota. All right, excellent. So what is in store for you now these uh, this next month or so as uh, Miss Northwest? Yeah. 
So I have less than a month before Miss Minnesota, which is June 16th down in the it, down in the cities. It's at Eden Prairie High School. So it's a lot of just getting these last minute details together, getting the wardrobe together, some of the little stuff that during the past year it's been more about the platform work, about being the role of Miss Northwest and also being the role of Miss Minnesota. And now we just got a few details to work out. I got my talent that I'm getting prepared, which is lyrical ballet, and that's something that I'm having a lot of fun with. How long have you been a ballerina? Yeah, I actually did it one year when I was really young, about five years old, and then I came back to it when I was 13. Uh, so I want to encourage other young girls, if you're interested in ballet, if you're interested in whatever arts, there's, it's never too late to start. Okay, all right, and uh, you know, some of those details, do you learn the, the beauty queen oh. way? <laughs> you know, I think I've gotten more lessons myself from from the sand uh, from passer buyers about how to do the wave. So I guess I, I'm not a pro at it. I tend to do the whole hey guys. <laughs> but. So I've always been interested in uh, you know you, you, the gowns that you wear. How many different kind of gowns do you have? Yeah. Well, I tell you, you, you start to collect them after a little <laughs> bit, especially after a year. There's one main evening gown that I have for Miss Minnesota, but I do have about two other gowns that I use. And I actually, this um, coming up, I have at Lake Park, I'm going to be doing a tea with the mothers and daughters, and they asked me to wear one of those gowns. Oh, so neat. All right. So do you get to keep those? As you, I mean, obviously you buy those, and you get to take yeah, them with you when yeah. you go on. And I do. I get to keep them. What's also neat is that the girls actually in the Miss Minnesota program we kind of trade off and we sell them to each other, mm -hmm. so you get a lot of use and you get some different things, and that's really, that's a nice thing that we can do. All right, so yeah. the Miss Minnesota pageant's coming up uh, the middle of June, June 16th, actually is yes. the actual date of the pageant, mm -hmm. but you prepare for about a week or so down there at the Eden Prairie area, yeah. you get to do activities and yeah. such. We check in on June 10th and we get to do a lot of appearances. We get to visit with uh, Gillette Children's Hospital down in the cities. They are the Children's Miracle Network for Minnesota, and that is a national partnership, the Miss America Organization has with them so that'll be fun to see those kids again all right and of course this is a scholarship pageant as yes. well so there's yes. uh, scholarships involved and you know what will you take with the from this as you you know whether you win Miss Minnesota yeah. or you move on uh, representing the Miss Northwest uh, what have you gained from this experience well there's been so many opportunities as I said my platform is something I'm very passionate about it's it's my career it's something I intend to do for the rest of my life so none of the experiences I've had this last year are wasted there's some things that have, are getting me more prepared for my doctoral work, getting me involved in advocacy, getting me involved working with legislate, uh, the legislator, and uh, it's just been a wonderful experience that it's it's not a waste no matter what the outcome. I can't go away disappointed. All right. Well, best of luck to you, Siri Thank Free. You. Thank right. you. Siri Free, Miss Northwest, today on Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy for TV3.